about the road to Halloween. Strap in, buckle up, we're going trick or treating. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. We have got a month long journey planned. The road to Halloween. It is my favorite time of the year. Getting cozy, getting spooky, turning off the lights, watching some horror movies, playing some games. So to kick it all off, we're gonna start with blood and guts. Who better to lead us to Halloween to start the journey than the man of murder himself, Jason Voorhees. We're starting with Friday the 13th. It's been a slightly bumpy road for Friday the 13th, admittedly, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't take away from the pure joy, the pure fun of being Jason Voorhees, stalking the camp counselors, grabbing them by the throat, hearing them scream into the microphone before you plunge the machete into their chest. <laughs> And that's what it's all about. It's about being Jason and performing these kills on real players. You, you feel it more, it's more intense, it's more intimate. There's a lot of creative kills in this too that really reward you for being in a specific place at that right moment, you know? Throwing the counselors into the fire, getting those sleeping bag kills, the drowning kills. You never know what you're gonna get in Crystal Lake. Next on the list, Doom. It's time to rip and tear until you are bathing in blood like Carrie in high school. It's all about demons. It's all about killing them. I mean, this narrator alone that's reading those intense stone tablets talking about the lore of doom, that voice alone just makes me think of Halloween. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. And you know what I love about the blood and guts in this game? It's not there for show. It's there to symbolize your progress and symbolize your skill. The bloodier it is, the more blood coming out, the more efficient of a killer you are. Next on the list, it's time to go shopping. Dead Rising. Blood and guts. The best part about Dead Rising is you can grab any weapon you want. You can, you can bludgeon the zombies, you know? When they're on the ground, you've got that trusty Triple H style sledgehammer. You just slam them on the ground. Or, you know, you wanna get Michael Myers style, get those kitchen knives, just start hacking and slicing. But my personal favorite, little Onimusha style, little Capcom tribute, perhaps. Samurai sword just cutting the zombies in half. <laughs> Last and certainly not least, Left for Dead. This one hurts. This one is hard. Like, breaking the fourth wall right now, getting real, real moment. Replaying these for this episode reminded me how, of how good Left 4 Dead is and how much we need a Left 4 Dead 3. Are you listening, Gabe? Come on, y'all, get inside! So Left 4 Dead, First of all, the shotgun. Top tier shotgun, whether it's the pump action or the automatic shoddy. The pump action, you're just popping heads right off. 
You're blowing holes in zombies. What I love is that you really need to focus your shots in this game because you get penalized for reloading. They take advantage, you get punished on the reload. You'll just get swarmed, it's overwhelming, too much to handle, and especially if you play on the harder difficulties, you need to be even more cautious because team fire just destroys your team. But, you know, whether it's, whether it's the shotgun popping heads right off, or the pipe bombs exploding a hundred zombies in a fountain of blood. It's never enough to satisfy my hunger. That's it for the episode. We're just getting started on the road to Halloween. This was Blood and Guts. Stay tuned for next week. I'm not gonna spoil it. You, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You're not gonna get it out of me. But if you wanna talk about Blood and Guts, this Saturday, 11 a.m., twitch.tv slash easyallies. We'll be doing Talking Syndrome. We can talk it out. Really start getting in the mood for Halloween because it's coming up quick. See you next week. <laughs>this episode comes full circle because there was no way as hard as i tried that i wasn't gonna recommend a friday the 13th movie if you only have time for one check out my personal favorite part six jason lives the end of the tommy jarvis trilogy